Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Do you remember, just before the general election, how the SNP were saying they were the voice of Scotland? They are the only ones who can go to Westminster and represent the Scottish people. Well, it turns out, and you'll... Don't want to surprise you here, but it turns out that was a lie. And how do we know it? Well, <laughs> the SNP have again failed to stand up for Scotland, despite their promises. Because there was a debate. There was a debate on the Scottish economy. Uh, and the thing was, it was an SNP-led debate. It was their idea to have this debate at Parliament at Westminster. And how many SNP MPs turned up? One. Kirsty Blackman. Kirsty Blackman was the only SNP MP to turn up for a debate on the Scottish economy that the SNP asked for. I'm going to presume that all the others were far too embarrassed. But even Beryl didn't turn up and it was him who asked for the debate. He's the SNP leader at Westminster. He requested the debate and then didn't turn up for his own debate. It's a very, very uh, sad day, isn't it? Now, John Lamont, he um, is the Scottish, uh, the shadow Scottish secretary, he's the uh, Conservative Scottish secretary, as it were, shadow. <coughs> he was very critical, uh, both of the government at Westminster and the Scottish government, over their handling of the economy um, and of the, uh, the general sort of malaise that's affecting the economy in Scotland and insisted that uh, workers... Um, have been poorly served by the government, by the SNP taxes um, in Scotland. Now, John Lamont, obviously, being Scottish himself, will know he's there, he's worked there, he knows it. But he says the statistics that are showing um, that nine only 9% 9 of Scottish firms are optimistic for the future. He said only 9%, less than 1 in 10, show this deep malaise at the heart of Scotland. Uh, and he said the stats should have been uh, a wake-up call to the SNP. Unfortunately, they weren't. They just hit snooze and carried on sleeping through it. Um, ten years ago, he said, the Scottish economy was booming. And now, in those ten years, it's gone from boom to bust. He says, and nobody wants to go to Scotland. They've killed investment with their plans and their taxes. And then they've demanded this. He said, then they come here. They said they demand this uh, this parliamentary discussion about it then they can't be bothered to turn up. One suspects Kirsty Blackman was only there because she thought, well, if I turn up, at least it looks like I get my face on the telly. Or maybe it was a mistake. Maybe she didn't need me to. And, oh, my God, I'm here now. But isn't it, isn't it bad that the SNP leader at Westminster couldn't be bothered to turn up for his own debate? They must be truly humiliated by it. Thanks a lot. Bye.